if you believe that coronavirus isn't that dangerous, isn't that deadly, well, you'll do things uh, to react that way. You'll do less social distancing, you'll endanger yourself and others more, you'll endanger the country more. Because Fox News lied to you and said, ah, it's no big deal, they're, they're doing this to, to try to, you know, hurt Trump. So don't let him hurt Trump. Go out there and hug coronavirus. It's no big deal. Now, it's not a direct quote. <laughs> okay, but they had a flippant attitude about it. Now their audience is a flippant attitude attitude about it. How about the ones who consume, uh, let's call it mainstream media, okay? Mainstream media has its own issues, but on stuff like this, uh, where there's not as much politics involved. I mean, if it was a story about Bernie Sanders, the mainstream media audience would be just as in father in a mask. Real men, Real men wear masks. Wear masks uh, and we'll look at the facts that his anti-immigrant rhetoric, uh, not just the things that I cited, but LeBron walking off the floor with 5.40 to go. That was, he was on my ground. You all saw that, right? Everything inside the red line is mine. Battleground of American politics, Georgia and Arizona. And in fact, what's interesting, the three closest states uh, four years ago were Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. The three closest states this time are Arizona, mm. Georgia, and Pennsylvania, right? You throw those in there and actually, you know. So I think... When you look at that in the future, we'll probably see that the decisive 270 electoral votes are now going to come from the Sun Belt. It didn't this time, but you see what our future holds. Yeah, and Democrats will have their eyes on Texas down the road as well, coming closer than they, than yep. they have in years. Yeah, I'm on the next chair. 